Ama Anobia Ejekum is asking, why does she still get the cash out authorization, even though she has not allowed cash out? It's not necessarily a, a cash out authorization. You know, for, for the service, we have different transaction types. So cash out is a transaction type. So unless you have allowed cash out, cash out wouldn't come through. But you will still have instances where because we have different kinds of online platforms that have integrated with us, you have people who, for example, will go to um, ABC e-commerce platform, want to buy something. And instead of putting their own Momo number, right, okay. then they put Eric's Momo number. Mm. And then it triggers an authorization pop-up message. In Eric's phone, Eric is somewhere at home, somewhere in Kofrudia. Mm. I'm doing it in Accra, right? And then you see it as if it's a cash out. No. If you enter your PIN, you are authorizing a payment for somebody who is sitting in his house trying to buy something online. And then he does it. Mm. So, as Eric said, if you've not issued any payment instruction, ignore it. Cut it off. If you've not allowed any cash out and there's a prompt like that, cut it off. Don't say you want to enter to see what happens. <laughs> you will get, you will get, you know, defrauded. Sure.